Hello everyone, and welcome to set 18 of Katawa Shoujo. We'll rejoin our protagonist Hisao in the hallway. I'm not really sure if this is supposed to be at the start of a new day, but let's just go on with it. I pull my door closed, ready for another day of classes. Well, I guess by that sentence, it is a new day, so hooray! It's... K Kenji? What are you doing? Up so early. Sleep well? <laughs> Sleep well, dude? Kenji's sudden arrival and the sudden arrival of this music makes me jump, and I narrowly avoid butting heads with him. I know he has poor eyesight, but he knows who I am now. Does he still have to stand this close? This close? Close enough to see my nostril hairs? Okay. Oh yeah, like a baby. Damn, why do people say that? Have you ever heard a baby sleep? They scream all night. Every night. I they won't even let me finish a sentence, man. Well, there goes the, my restful state. I have to remember to never use figures of speech with Kenji, because apparently he can't understand shit. As I alienate my audience by cursing, yay! Alright, I get your point. It was a figure of speech. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Where were you last night? I had a favor to ask, but you weren't around. For a split second, I consider telling Kinji the truth, that I was spending time with Hanako and Lily. Mmm, I... yeah. I can see that ending one way, with that one way being not good for Hisao. Thankfully, that split second passes as soon as it came. Yeah, there... there we go. Let's just discard that idea. I was just out, checking out the local area and stuff. You know, recon. Oh yeah, feed the troll. Feed the troll. Good man, good. I knew you were the type to plan ahead. <laughs> anyway, what was this favor you wanted? I was gonna get some takeout, but I needed change. But I needed change. Change, man. Wait, what? I gave you money last week and you still haven't paid me back. Tch. And I was starting to think you were cool. Kenji fishes around in his pocket and produces his wallet. As he counts out the 400 yen he owes me, I clearly see at least two 10,000 yen notes. Hmm. Lies. Damned lies. And statistics. Hey, what the hell? Why are you borrowing money off me when you've got that much cash? Kenji hisses a little, realizing that he's been had. Hiss. Get off my case, man! It's bad luck to break a big note for anything less than half its value. It's the tycoon's rule. Why do you have the note to begin with? Last night's dinner is gonna cost me seven years of bad luck! Seven years! Don't you think there's enough cause- that's enough cause to help someone out? I'd get a shorter sentence if I just stole the stuff. My common sense screams at me to say something to him, but thankfully I restrain myself. Arguing a point like this with Kenji would lead, will just lead to further and more complicated discussions about life, the universe, and everything. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe you should plan these things a little better. Yeah, man, I know. But I've just got so much stuff to do, it's hard. And you've never, and you're never around anymore, so I'm on my own. We're supposed to be brothers in brotherhood, remember? Wait, who, who said this? Who, who said I'm your brother? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Global conspiracy and such. I'll keep my ear to the ground. Kenji draws close enough for me to get a clear whiff of his garlic-tainted breath. Ugh. You'd better, man. You're already spending less time here. That's the first thing they do. They'll split us up. Divide and conquer. Sun Tzu said that. Roger that. Now I've got to be going to class. You coming? Nah, I'm tired. I stayed up all night just trying to make sure nothing was going to happen after splitting that note. 
As rational as ever, I see. Whatever. Night. <laughs> Kenji scurries back into his room and I hear him throwing his locks as I walk down the hallway. Okay, Mr. Troll. I'm out of here. It's Muto. And that is why some people can't roll their tongues. Or why their second toe is longer than their big toe. Well, this sounds like a very riveting discussion. Muto beams a half smooth half bib yeah. Yeah. Muto beams a half moon smile at us, obviously proud of his explanation of recessive genes. So I guess we're talking about genetics. Duh. However, no matter how impressed he is at the science that defines who we are, the classroom seems to be reduced to a stupor. Why is it that bad of an explanation? Why is it that a bad explanation can make even the most interesting things seem worthless? I can see Muto deflate as he realizes... Realize... Ugh, God, why can't I talk right? Why can't I talk good, man? I can see Muto deflate as he realizes that nothing he has said in the past half hour has sunk in. Whispered conversations start to break the silence like an avalanche. The noise level in the class starts to rise. Defeated, Muto identifies some questions from the textbook and sets to clearing off the blackboard. Almost as if expected, Hanako packs up her things and leaves as soon as people start talking and laughing amongst themselves. Man, it seems like we're getting some kind of ambient noise. Not sure. The initial shock of seeing someone play so blatantly truant has started to fade. It doesn't, it doesn't stop me from wondering. Is she leaving because she doesn't want people to speak to her? Or is it just the thought of people around her shattering her peace? Hmm. Before I... Bells. Before I can think about the topic any further, the lunch bells ring. I wonder if she was simply taking the opportunity to leave early. Maybe. The usual clamor of students exchanging books for lunch reverberates around the room, and while Misha is distracted, I, go I grab my lunch and head for the door. Run, he's out! Run! Run while you can! That probably came out very loud. Lily already sits in the tea room, setting out her lunch alone. I guess I know where we're going for lunch nowadays. Okay. I mean, it makes sense, but in any case. So. Hanako's not here, then. Oh, he's Sal. How are you? I haven't met Hanako since this morning, I am afraid. That's right. Hanako and Lily live next to each other. Somehow I think their morning conversations are slightly more grounded than Kenji's ramblings. Yes, that, that's likely a good uh, approximation. That's strange. She left class early, so I figured that she'd come down here. So she's still leaving class early? Um, yeah. I've seen her do it a few times. Lily drops her head a little, and their tone of voice is notably depressed. It's very reminiscent of someone who's used to hearing bad news. Hmm. Seems like we're going to learn a bit about Hanako now. I was so sure that she would stop doing that once you two became friends. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I guess that I was... That Hisao was supposed to have some kind of, like, grounding effect? In that... Um, she wouldn't have to leave so early since she had someone who shared a common experience with her? I guess that's Lily's train of thought. I mean, it makes sense. But perhaps not with Hanukkah's situation. Hmm. Everyone has their own pace, I suppose. Well, I was wondering about that just today. What exactly does... Why exactly does she leave? I'm not entirely sure myself. I personally think it's because she doesn't want to be put into a situation where she has to answer to someone. I have a flashback of my first meeting with her, when I thought she looked like a cornered animal. Maybe I wasn't far from the truth. 
not likely. But she seems fine with talking to you, and with me, a bit. It's a little more complex than that. I imagine that the first thing most people ask her is about is her scars, and what happened. She rarely talks about it with me, but I can tell she doesn't like to remember whatever happened back then. Well, that seems pretty logical. Especially for someone as shy and reserved as Hanukkah. Leaving class and running away from discussion is her preemptive strike, if you will. Huh. So then how does that explain her talking to me? You said it yourself at breakfast. You tried to ignore her scars. Once she saw that you weren't going to ask her about that, she opened herself up to you. I, I suppose, socially, you mean. She really hasn't opened up personally, but that is completely understandable. Hmm. I guess you're right. Maybe. I don't know. You do know her better than I, so I'll take your word for it. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm sure you'll come to know her as well as I do soon enough. Well, that seems a bit presumptuous, but... Maybe. I welcome the prospect of her having a new friend, and the two of you have such similar interests. Library. Library for the win. Well, I hardly count reading as a team sport. It is good to have company, though. That's my point. Hanako is still an average person at heart. She also wants company at times like that. Huh. I see. I think. To be honest, both of you still confuse me a little. Well, imagine that. Girls confusing a boy. <laughs> I, that's... And my reaction right there is what we in the business call a cliché. That's only natural, Hisao. We've only known each other for a little while. It's unreasonable to expect you to understand us. Just as we can't understand you. Logic. It's just getting rained down. Like, from above. But that's half the fun of becoming... Uh, <laughs> half the fun. But that's half the fun of becoming friends, right? I don't know what I made Lily sound like just now, but... I almost feel like going that over... Going, going over that one, you know, just because I screwed that, even that sentence up. Yeah, we're doing this again. But that is half the fun of becoming friends. Can, can I not say this right? Can, it doesn't sound like I'm... Mm. Yeah, let's just make this even more awkward. But that is half the fun of becoming friends, right? There we go. Nailed it! Yes, yes it is. Yes, I did nail it. Booyah! Although, I suppose there is the matter of us being opposite genders. Men and women do seem to confuse each other quite often. Cliché. She says this with a light giggle, finding amusement at the odd little details of life. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to start eating. No, go ahead. I think I'll get so I think I'll eat something too. I've got some books I want to drop back at the library before classes start, so I'd better get a move on. You'll probably find Hanako there as well. If you do see her, can you tell her to stop by my room later tonight? I'd like to talk to her. You're not coming. Unfortunately, I have a class representative's meeting later, so I'll be gone as soon as I've finished my lunch. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. And a bit, uh... Oh, well, no. Okay, then. If I don't see her in the library, then I'll tell her in class. I'm sure she'll be back after lunch. Hopefully. We fall silent as we start to eat, and I take a second to reflect on our conversation. 
Mm. I've always thought that Hanako's shyness was simply due to her being self-conscious about her scars. But that's a pretty superficial way of looking at her. You don't say. I tabbed! Damn it! <laughs> and you could actually see it this time. Fail. Just when I thought I was starting to see through the fog of Lily and Hanako, I realized that I'm more lost than when I started. But at least you've started walking blindly out into the fog. That's the important part, right? Moving forward. Or hopefully forward. Moving. Moving at all. Lily quickly finishes her lunch, acutely aware of her meeting. I don't blame her. Shizune is most likely going to be there, and I doubt she wants to give her the satisfaction of another argument. I must be off. Same time tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Same... Lily... <laughs> same Lily time. Same Lily channel. I'd better head off, too. I don't want to risk being late for a very important date. Lily smiles gently, picks up her cane, and walks out into the hall as I talk in this strange voice. As I look at this strange picture, I turn my back on Lily as we head in opposite directions. Directions. Yeah. Hmm. For some reason, I find myself hoping she doesn't get into another fight with Shizune. Especially since I won't be there to break it up. That's probably what Hisao wanted to finish that sentence with. As much as I like Lily, Shizune and Misha have been pretty instrumental in helping me adjust, even if half our conversations are thinly veiled recruitment attempts. Then again, I barely know either of them. Maybe they were previously leaders of some kind of secret society, but their love for each other drove them apart. Oh, I suppose he's talking about Lily and Shizune. Man, I need to stop reading cheap fiction. It's rotting my brain. Either that or I've got to move away from Kenji and his bad influence. Both. Both. You need to do both. It's sad that I can't tell the two apart anymore. Hmm, it's all Kenji's fault. I slide my books down the return chute, and they crash into the cart with a pleasant thud. One of them probably hit Yuko or something, given her luck. Yep. Or something. Something happened. Yuko, however, doesn't seem as impressed as I. He, he's out. You scared me. Sorry. I thought you'd be used to that by now. Or is the literacy level here so low that nobody borrows any books? That's a rather blunt thing to say. Huh? No, I think everyone here can read fine. Yeah, never mind. Worst joke ever. Sorry. Worst impression ever. <clears throat> there are some battles that you can never win. Trying to explain jokes is one of them. My dad taught me that the hard way. Seiyuko. Have you seen Hanako around? She left class early, but she wasn't in her usual hiding place. I think I saw her sneak in before lunch. Oh, I'm not supposed to tell anyone that. Fail. I just told you that I saw her leave. No need to stress out. Oh, of course. She's probably in the back. Thanks. Get any new books? Books. Get any new books recently? No, sorry. I'll let you know when we do, though. Okay. If there's one thing I know about the librarians, part-time or otherwise, it's that they appreciate people who take an in genuine interest in their work. I suppose... I do, then. I walk the now familiar path to Hanukkah's reading nook as the camera slowly pans over and stops, picking out a few titles along the way. Sometimes I find it hard to discover a book that will interest me among the shelves. An author's name and a two-word title doesn't mean much in a sea of similar words. For that reason, I sometimes reread books that I read in the past. Better to bet on the favorite than a new runner. 
An unfamiliar title from a familiar author peeks out amongst the spines of its neighbors, so I remove it from the shelf. At least I'm not going over old material. As expected, Hanako sits on her beanbag, buried deep in a cover of Dance, Dance, Dance. Dance. Hi, Hanako. How's it going? And someone's calling me! I'm sorry, folks. Pause! And we're back! There we go. Okay, everything is recording again now. Yay! I'm sorry about that, folks. That was a very long phone call I just had to take, so I apologize. Who knows, maybe I'll just start a new part here. I don't really know myself. Okay. Hi, Hanako. How's it going? <laughs> oh no, I wasn't uh, clicked in the frame. Gosh darn it, should I just start this entire set over again? No! I mustn't. I fight back the urge to ask why she left class early. If Lily's suspicions were right, then asking her about that could have the opposite effect. You don't freaking say, he so. Best to leave it for the time being. Sometimes the best way to get an answer from someone is to never ask the question. Uh, hello, Hisao. I'm fine. Something seems off, and after a couple of seconds I realize what it is. Hanako's smiling. She looks as if she's pleased to see me. It's a nice change from the usual instinctively frightened reaction. And something I hope I can see more of as we get to know each other better. Good to hear. How's that book? I've heard it's a trip. It's... it's good, I think. I've only d just started it, so I d don't really know. Fair enough. Let me know how it goes. I may borrow it once you're done. Sh sure. There's a good 15 minutes left in lunch. Not really enough to get into a book, but too much to stand around doing nothing. So what is our intrepid hero going to do? And Hanako's already returned to her reading, so I doubt I'll get to much. I doubt I'll get much conversation from her. You could always try, you know. Oh well, I'd better make myself comfortable. The hell does that mean? I just heard something sl like slam. Yeah, okay, not slam. I just heard something thud dully in my headset, so I assume that's he's sitting down. I slouch into a beanbag and crack open my book. The familiar style of the author leaps out at me from the very first line. As the sentences turn into paragraphs, I start to relax a little. But no matter how I try, I can't seem to get myself into the atmosphere of the book. And the music is dying. Okay. This is partly due to the lack of time, but the more distracting factor is Hanako. What is she, staring at us? Every ten or so seconds, she peers over the top of her book, but when her eyes meet, she quickly ducks be behind the covers. I guess she did want to talk about something after all. Oh, shoot. What's up? You look like a prairie dog on a lookout. N- It's nothing. I've told you before, nothing means something when you say it like that. Hanako squirms a little in her beanbag, hoping that changing her position she'll find the word she's looking for. I... I was in an accident. Oh. Hmm. Accident? Just, just now? Are you alright? Hanako shakes her head, her hair flowing around her shoulders in wisps of amethyst, on a background of pale and dark flesh. N no When I was younger. Realization crashes into me like a semi. And this is one of my favorite musical tracks. I almost don't want to spoil it by talking. <coughs> I'll just let the uh, light piano take over. 
when I, when I was... It's alright, Hanako. You don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to. Again, she shakes her head. N no I want... I have to tell you. When I was young, I was in a fire. My house burned down, and I nearly, I nearly didn't make it. A after that, I was alone. Hanako's eyes glisten in the dim light of the library, and I reach out to grasp her hand. It's okay, Hanako. You don't have to keep going. I have to. Why? What brought this on? L last night, Lily t told me about your heart. And... And I... I didn't think it was fair. Fair? That... That I knew about you, but... You didn't know about me. I squeeze Hanako's hand a little. Don't be silly, but yes, I have a heart condition. I lean a little closer to Hanako. What I didn't tell Lily is that I had my first attack when a girl confessed to me. <laughs> I smile a little to break the tension. R really? Really? I haven't heard from her for a while, though, so I guess it's all over. I know it's all over. There's no other way to interpret what happened the last time I saw her. In some ways, not having heard from her again has helped me move on from that period of my life. So now, we both know a little more about each other. But you don't have to talk about things if you don't want to. In fact, I feel a little bad even thinking about that whole incident. I can almost smell the hospital's disinfectant burning the back of my sinuses again. I imagine Hanukkah is going through the same thing now. When I was into the hospital, I went to the burn ward once, and only once. I was bored, so I went for, for a walk through all the wards. I went through oncology and thought I could take it, but when I got to the burn ward, I turned around and went back to my bed. To think that Hanukkah would have spent months in a place like that, smelling nothing but corrupted skin, strong disinfected and sterilized air. The really bad cases were kept in isolated pods that no foreign objects could enter. That would have meant no reading. I would have gone insane if I didn't have any books in the hospital. And she said she was alone. Did her parents die? I'll have to ask Lily about it. I can imagine myself saying something dumb and unintelli unintentionally. Th thank you, Hisao. I... I haven't told many people about this. To be honest, I haven't told many people about my circumstances either. But then... I won't tell anyone either. Deal. I change my grip on Hanako's hand into a handshake as the warning bells chime through the window. Well then, we'd better head back to class then, eh? Sh sure. Oh no! It's a very cute picture. I think this is where I should stop for now. I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching. Have a good day.